what's up what's up guys so check it out I had an idea I got a broken television and I was thinking what could I do with this broken TV so I have it on the floor here right and I went ahead and disassembled it and if you pull back the digitizer all right as you can see it comes back like that and it separates and you get this really nice bright light and it's real thin so I was thinking about reversing it and using it as a light in my room to you know work on or you could frame it or something and turn it sideways and it'd be like a uh, like kind of a cool picture like on your wall or something right but I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna keep it and just use it for the LCD panel that it is um, and you know because it's it's super thin see it's real thin and it has the hang ports on the other on the back end of it so I think I might do that with it so yeah let's um let's unplug this sucker all right so we don't shock ourselves and you know forgive the mess again so we need to set it down some way so we can take it apart go like that and we'll turn some light on it all right so i got the tv you can see there's the power supply i'll have to put the back panel back on so i can hang the tv but i'm just going to separate the two layers here some which way and then it looks like to me like they're held on there it looks like to me that they're held on by these ribbon cables here and here so i think and i'm just going to nip those cut them off use like a razor or something um here i got a razor right here so i think what i'll do is i'll just well it almost looks like they peel see it's kind of interesting like they have this really long see this like strip right here like that strip that's right there it runs the entire length of it and that's like the pcb and then what they do is they just attach it wherever they need it to be at and that's kind of cool have a regular power supply um, you can use these if you know what you're doing you can use them if not then your best bet is just to throw it away but I always being a DIY kind of guy and being in electronics and stuff and and having a uh, a budget you know um, I like taking stuff like this apart so let's just let's just cut it because I know it'll cut as soon as I like that make sure to cut away from you right through someone's patented ribbon technology I'm just gonna cut whoop. cut it without cutting ourselves okay so there's that one and then there's that one all right so I didn't plan on making a video at all I was just thinking huh maybe my audience would like to see what I do in my spare time when I'm tinkering around okay so I got the board done Alright, so there it is, that's the part that displays your picture, and as you can see it's cracked, which I'm going to show you guys something cool with this later on that you can do, um, but here's the panel, so I was thinking about mounting it like this, right, and then when you turn it on, it would be um a super bright panel led light you know i could use it in my studio or something like that um although i'm gonna have to secure this that way i don't get no electrical fide while i'm playing with it because i don't want to get electrical so what i do is i got this little power switch here i think that's the power switch i don't know find out so we're just going to turn it on the blue light came on that's good and boom there it is activate it and then you can have it like that you know however you want to do it you know because it's a nice soft bright light and it would be great for like builds or something you know you could really 
really do a good job with that. What do y'all think? That's pretty bright, right? You know? Wow. I uh, put this on a tripod. I mean, it'd be great studio lighting. In fact, if I ever come across some more broken TVs like this, um, I'll do that. I'll take them apart and I'll set them up and you can, maybe I can sell them as lighting, you know, nice bright lighting for your studio or something like that. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Um, I just got to figure out a way to secure this. Uh, I got that black panel around here somewhere, and I don't know where that is. Here, let me um, let me turn that off because I don't want to mess with it, and I don't want to break it either. Uh, here it is, this thing. All right, so this is the the back cover piece that went on it, right, like that. Uh, but it already has the mounts in it, like you would hang it on the wall or on your TV stand, and I think we'll take advantage of that. So it goes back on like like that. Can y'all see it? It goes back on kind of like that. And then I'll attach it and stuff. And I think we'll go from there. This used to be an old Element TV. It's uh, probably a 32 inch Element TV. But yeah, LED DIY lighting kit made out of an old TV and mount it to a tripod. Great idea great idea and then I got the frame the bezel to go around it to make it look even nicer I got to get rid of the the element right here you see he the element yeah I gotta get rid of that um, anyway. all right so I got the back panel reinstalled like that and I need one more maybe one or two more screws in it uh -oh. like that this is so cool I'm I'm really liking this idea and then the next thing I need to do is probably clean it I'm sure that that white panel is dirt alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little alcohol and we're going to clean the screen the best we can Just a little. So what I was thinking about doing was pulling the speaker right out of out of the thing, right? And then if I reattach it, okay, like that, then if I reattached it, the cool thing would be that I could I could sit the TV upright in the normal position and I could let it shine that way that way I don't have to hang it all the time for light because I think I'm gonna use it for studio light so yeah I think we will reattach these on now it wouldn't look cool though if you had it hanging on its side but we'll we'll come to that we'll come to that basically it just looks like that slides down in there somehow that. Oh man, I think I have to remove. I think I have to remove this screw and able to get this thing to slide down in there. Whoops, and of course we dropped the screw. Yeah, that's what it was. See, because now it fits. Where'd that screw go? Damn, I hate when we lose stuff. And the rabbit got my room messy again. Hold on, I'm trying to get. It's so much easier if I had like an extra hand. Almost days, but a lot of my friends are out doing their own thing. All right. So we got that attached. Now I need to attach something here. Our glue gun is almost, almost hot enough. All right. 
right, and just like that, the feet are attached again. How about if we? I don't think that's right. Say, so how about if I just attach it, plug it in, see if it'll work, and then if it'll work, if it'll work, we can just glue it in. What do y'all think? Okay, so there's the power, right? Nope, not getting nothing. So maybe we do have it in backwards. Alright, so now we got it that way. There we go. Blue lights on. TV's working. Alright, did the panel come on? Yes, it came on. Alright, good deal. Okay, so let's go ahead, since we got that in there right. Let's go ahead and glue it, push it down, and glue it to ensure that that does not come off no more. Okay. There we go. Make sure it holds. Blow on it so it'll cool faster. Alright, so then got that done. Alright. And the TV's nice and bright still, yep. So that way, see we can set it that way on a table and the light can be facing toward us or we can turn the TV this way and have mucho lighting so let's see how well it works so this is the light going this way nice and bright and then you can mount it this way which is real bright or you can see what I was thinking is, is I could put it up like this you see how that makes a nice bright light for everything I mean it's, it's a great idea see in this way I can set it down on the table right I can set this down on the table and then lay something in front of it and take pictures of it you know for for eBay and you know for something that I'm selling this is actually like a plastic film. You can see it's bled through. If I want it to, all right, I could actually remove this plastic film that's inside right there and it'll eliminate these this discoloration that you see in the screen. Um, although I'm not sure if it's attached by like if gas is attached to it or if it's a laminated on there judging by the puddle uh, by the the solution I'm not I'm not saying that it is but I could probably find out I would probably have to take it back apart and then get inside there and remove this layer or I could probably use a knife and cut it and go like that but I mean this right here is not that big of a deal it doesn't really bother me so yeah cool right guys all right I'm done DIY studio light refurb old TV coming at you guys pretty cool I like it I think it's boss and you know it's just no normal 32 inch TV so I need to find a really big broken TV and use that and unfortunately my buddy had one but I didn't think I needed it or would do anything with it and told him to throw it out but there will be more broken TVs later on down the road I always find them so alright pretty cool y'all be cool peace